All right, I'm gonna be a bit controversial here or I'm just gonna drop truth bombs because I know throughout my weight loss journey with OMAD, with keto, with losing over 110 pounds, I know what works. And here it is. One meal a day is a weight loss tool. It is a weight loss diet. Dare I say diet? Yes, dieting. Let's think of dieting as a term of using a nutrition plan to cut weight. OMAD is a weight loss diet. It is a tool to cut weight. It is a tool to lose weight. It is not a lifestyle. Do you know what is a lifestyle that includes OMAD? Flexible fasting, metabolic flexibility. Now that's a lifestyle. What is flexible fasting? What is metabolic flexibility? Being able to go in and out of our bodies to metabolic energy systems from being a fat burner to being a sugar burner, being flexible with your fasting. Listen, when it comes to weight loss, you can use one meal a day as a tool to lose weight, but once you've got that weight off, you need to be able to transition to a different diet. I like the idea of counting macros because it lets the stress off of the whole, focusing on hitting a calorie number and it's a little bit more flexible and it's a great way to focus on getting different nutrients from different foods. That is my take on it. But when it comes to OMAD, you wanna use it as a tool to lose weight. Now, one meal a day isn't for everyone, okay? It's worked for a lot of people, yes, but it's not for everyone. And when I say one meal a day, using it as a tool to lose weight, you need to watch your calories. When I was successful with one meal a day, I was counting my calories. I made sure to not have a lot of days where I was eating sub 1000 calories. And those days only appeared at the beginning of my journey when I was 229 pounds, when I started one meal a day. As the months went on, I stayed within the 1200 to 1400 calorie range. And this is why you wanna do it, for your thyroid health. Your thyroid needs a minimum of 1200 calories per day to be happy. You don't want to be in a prolonged deficit for a long time because you can do harm to your body. I want people to understand that. So with this OMAD lifestyle thing, I don't think it's a lifestyle. Listen, there will be people on the internet that prove me wrong. That's fine, but it's not a blanket statement for everyone. I think OMAD should be used as a tool to cut if you are in an obese BMI. If you have a BMI that's high or your BMI is overweight. For those people who have like 10 to, you know, five pounds to lose, I would not do OMAD frequently because it might be a little more difficult for you. But this is regard, like all of my weight loss advice out there is for people who are overweight or obese, people who have excess weight on them. The goal is to make that metabolic switch so you can burn that excess weight and use it as fuel and get your mitochondria back on track and heal your body. I just don't want people taking this out of hand because yes, OMAD has made me successful, but for the last month, I wasn't doing OMAD consistently. I was doing macro counting. I've now transferred back to keto because keto is the best diet for me to cut, but I'm not doing keto OMAD every day. You'll see keto OMAD vlogs here and there, but daily I'm mainly doing two mad, eating a meal in the morning and then eating the rest of my calories in the late of the day. Two mad is just a tool to kind of like bankroll your calories, to save your calories for later in the day. Like Louise's journey is a major weight loss YouTuber and she talks about this on her channel when she was losing weight. If you watched her weight loss videos, she said she would kind of like think of her calories as a bank account and learning how to save her calories for later in the day. Two mad is just a tool for me to do that. You know, have a bit of the calories in the morning, make sure you get in enough calories to fuel my workouts. And then, you know, you kind of slowly divvy out your calories for later on in the day. But I just wanted to make that clear, that OMAD is just a tool to lose weight. Listen, the power with weight loss comes with this. You want to be able to lose weight with OMAD. You want to be able to lose weight eating throughout the day. You want to be able to lose weight with carbs. You want to be able to lose weight using a normal looking diet. I want people to have those tools, but we jump to the metabolic diets like keto and OMAD to reverse the metabolic damage that has happened to people's bodies. So eventually, once you get that reversed, you want to slowly get acquainted with your body and learn how to eat properly throughout the day 
Obviously, you still want to use OMAD as a tool here and there, but you don't want to depend on it every day once you get to a very healthy body weight. And now I know some people are like, oh, OMAD's not a diet, it's a way of eating. Yes, of course it's a way of eating, but a lot of people think of diet as a as a way to lose weight. That's how our mind set works because of quote unquote, dare I say, it, I hate to use the term diet culture because at the end of the day, you need to learn how to count your calories and you need to learn how to eat less in order to lose weight. That is the key. And yes, you need the metabolic switch to help you out on that aspect. So I just want people to understand that keto OMAD is a tool. OMAD is just a method of time restricting eating. All you're doing instead of, let's say you're eating 1500 calories to lose weight. Instead of eating those 1500 calories throughout the day, you're just eating it in a four hour eating window. And the more you crunch that eating window, the better it will be for you to get into that metabolic switch. Like I think a two hour eating window is perfect. Eating within a one hour eating window, eh, it depends how many calories you're eating. But if you're eating like a good size, and when I say 1500 calories, this is for women, men, you don't want to go lower than I would say men who are like morbidly obese. It depends from person to person. This is a general number I'm throwing out there, but I would say 16 to 1800 calories for a man who's like morbidly obese. You don't want to go lower than that. But all you're doing is just compressing that into a small eating window. That all it, that's all it is. So you can take advantage of the fasting during the day. I hope this video cleared up some things out there. I just want people to know that OMAD is a tool to help you lose weight and it's not actually eating one meal a day. It's just compressing your calories within a shorter eating window. Dr. Mindy Pals has talked about many studies that show that when you compress your calories within a smaller eating window, you will see greater weight loss results. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just type in the word results and I'm sending you guys bad luck. Take care. Bye.